hi everyone you're welcome to this tutorial in this video we are going to talk about how to plot survey plan inside revit without wasting much of your time let's begin all right to plot your survey plan here inside of revit the first thing we want to do is to go to site plan all right you come to project browser and open the site plan we're going to be plotting it right here on the site plan so the next thing is to bring up our image right here inside of Revit so that we can look at the value and replot it here so to do that I just open where the image is so I drag it and place it here that's my survey plan I move it to one corner there then all these values we are going to replot it actually is a tedious work but because the survey plan is simple it's going to be easy for us to do to save our time so the next thing is to go to massing and site now under this panel you're going to see a tiny arrow there site setting click on it you come to angle display you turn it to degrees of course it's on degrees and then for units you allow it to be on degrees minutes and seconds hit apply say ok then the next thing is to go to property line here and click on it create by entering distances and bearing click on it now we have this did data all right so we're going to start by entering the values from this point we go right as it's indicated here left to right so we're going to go clockwise direction here i have 45.72 meters but i'm going to be doing the conversion in millimeters since i'm using the metric architectural templates so the first one is 45720 if you multiply it by 1000 that's what we're going to have so under distance here i enter 45720 millimeters then 318 degrees so i click on this and we have 30 minutes and then i click insert to enter the next line this is 30.48 meters and it's gonna be 30480 and on the bearing i have 40 degrees and 30 minutes click on insert for the next one here i have 45.72 as well so i click here 45720 and the bearing is 138 degrees so um, for the last one you may not necessarily need to bother yourself entering the values so once you click on this add line to close Revit will automatically add the last line up and close it up and it's going to be accurate that's how intelligent Revit operates so I click on that here you're going to see the last line as 30.48 here you see it here 3480 the bearing is 220 degrees and 30 minutes it's accurate just click ok so we have our survey plan there then the next thing we want to do is to confirm if the dimension correlates with that of the survey plan so what we have to do is to we'll go and pick dimension here and not just dimension not just linear dimension but aligned dimension so we zoom this out and hold the tab key down click on the first point click on the second point of course if i drop this dimension it's not going to be accurate because um, it's not aligned to prove that to you you can see here we have 30 183 but here 30.48 meters all right so i'm just going to cancel this out and delete this then go to dimension one more time hold down the tab key you're going to see that dot blinking there click and then you click on this other one you drag it out so all right let's confirm now here we have 45720 on this line 45720 here we have um, 30480 30480 4572 30480 45720 so you can see is accurate then let's move this 
a bit so having plotted this on your site makes it appear on every other level for example if i go to level one you see your site plan on level one go to level two you're going to see the site plan you go to level three you're going to see it so we'll go back to the site plan for the dimensioning you will agree with me that when it comes to site plan layout you need a bigger text height is against the text height you need on your floor plans all right and what we have to do at this point is to select the dimension to increase the text height and then we go to edit type and you can duplicate it just to have something different for your site plan layout or we can just call it site layout dimension then you come to the text size and we can turn this to 10.4 and say ok so you can say we have it modify and select match properties and match the others so we have a different dimension size so with this we've come to the end of this tutorial if you've learned something new hit the like button and subscribe for more share it to support what we do thanks for watching and see you in the next video